This podcast is brought to you by mancrates.com. Good morning. Here are the five things you need to know for Thursday, June 10th. President Joe Biden says he'll tell Russian President Vladimir Putin, quote, what I want him to know, as he defines the goals of his first foreign tour. Mr. Biden was speaking to U.S. troops stationed in the U.K. ahead of meetings with the G7 and NATO countries before meeting with Putin in Geneva next week. Mr. Biden says he won't hold back. He also spoke forcefully about restoring American alliances in Europe, describing them as a cornerstone of global security. While at the G7 meeting this week, President Biden will announce the purchase and donation of 500 million doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, a person familiar with the decision has told CNN. Around 200 million doses will go out this year, and 300 million will be distributed in the first half of 2022. All doses will go through COVAX, the international vaccine initiative, and will go to 92 low- and lower-income countries as well as the African Union. State media in Myanmar reports that deposed civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi has been charged with corruption by the country's military junta. Suu Kyi and her government were overthrown when the military seized power in a February 1st coup. She has been held in detention since then and charged with a series of crimes her lawyers and supporters consider to be politically motivated. The new charges accuse Suu Kyi of misusing her authority in renting land and illegally accepting $600,000 in cash as well as gold while in office. That's families for you. That's what Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, has said about the rift in the British royal family. In a wide-ranging interview, the Queen's youngest son spoke to CNN about the family tension with Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, describing it as very sad. He also spoke about how the Queen is faring since the passing of her husband, Prince Philip, saying she is doing, quote, remarkably well. And the moon will partially block out the sun today, creating a ring of fire solar eclipse. This is an annular eclipse, meaning the moon is far away enough from the earth that it appears smaller than the sun. As the two cross paths, a bright light will glow around the edges of the moon. It's called the ring of fire and will be visible to some people in Greenland, northern Russia and Canada, according to NASA. That's all for your CNN 5 Things Morning Edition. For more on these stories and the latest news, you can always visit cnn.com slash five things. Did you know that the Nile River flows south to north? It's one of the fascinating things you'll learn in The Nile. 5,000 Years of History on Curiosity Stream. Launched by the creator of Discovery Channel, Curiosity Stream is the opposite of mindless TV. This is nonfiction entertainment created by award winning filmmakers, available on any device. Satisfy your curiosity for less than two bucks a month at curiositystream.com/news. That's curiositystream.com/news.